Hey guys, what is going on? GT2King here back today with another video and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing this punk which is sort of like a lightweight steam client So instead of having like your main client like something like this uh, You could have sort of a lighter version and you could have this main steam window open and maybe have like alternate accounts on the other one which you have like chat messages with and everything so I'm just gonna show you how to set it up and how it works so all you have to do is go to this page it's open source this guy's completely trusted but it is gonna be used at your own risk I'm not responsible neither is this guy for anything that happens but as you guys can see all you have here's what it does is you can add remove or block friends send and do everything with friend requests display offline messages you could chat with people it even notifies you when you get chat messages you can accept and decline and just do all of that with trades and trade offers and you have dedicated buttons for specific things so all you have to do is go to the download go to the releases tab and just download the win ev 1.6 version it does i don't know which it could be like a later version for you guys but this one was pretty recent so i doubt there will be an update for quite a while so yeah just download the windows 32 version we're gonna wait for this to download once it is downloaded it's just basically a raw file that you just have to export or you have to like yeah export it so i'm i made one on my desktop called punk and i just transferred everything from the raw file or the zip file to here you just have to extract it and as you can see you just open it up make a file wherever you want and just drag and drop it I already did so you don't have to do that then all you have to do is go to the file you put it in or the folder and run punk.exe you could create a shortcut and put it on the desktop or in the start menu wherever you want if you want to run this and currently I am auto logged in so we're just gonna log out real fast we're gonna open up SDA oh I already have it open and let's just pull it to this other window and we're gonna log in with one of my accounts so we're gonna be going with this account it's just a test account to show you guys how it works you could have the remember me if you want the extra security just uncheck that but I don't really care so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in it's gonna ask you for your steam guard auth code you just paste that in there and then you're basically logged in so as you guys can see my current profile is this Lamau bot it's you could change everything in terms of its state you could even set it to snooze which is pretty cool as you can see it changed right there so what else can you do you could change the name you could set it to offline as you can see it changes pretty quick and it even works as chat messages so I could type hey and if I send a message to this account, it even shows you when I'm typing, it'll actually beep. So if you heard that beep, let me just do it again. It, get, it notifies you. So if you have like a different account with maybe a chat bot, like you have one for business, one for trading, I don't know, stuff like that. You could get notified whenever you get a message. Now, another thing you could do is add people from their Steam ID. Settings isn't implemented yet from what I understand here. It gives you notifications it'll tell you if you have friend requests I currently don't have any but I can show you how that works I'll just remove my alt account and it'll show you the notifications so let's just go ahead and add friend and it should get a notification I think I need to relog in or I don't even know how this works I think yeah, I think you need to relog in or maybe it, um, like checks every X minutes but since we're auto logged in We'll just restart it real fast and it should be good. Um, we, I guess we still don't have, oh, there we go. So as you guys can see, we have one invite. It'll open up a new sort of browser window with this page. And then from here, you could just navigate through the regular Steam. Up here are dedicated buttons to go to specific pages. So this is our profile. This is the Steam store. So you could buy games from this instead of having to have like different browsers or logging on to different Steam clients. This is just an alternative option so we're just gonna go ahead and accept my main account real fast and that's basically it it's a pretty lightweight let, let me know what you guys think if you would use it let me know and I'll have the download link in the description so again this is used at your own risk and 
yeah, this guy's pretty trusted and everything, so let him know if there are any issues, I guess, and hopefully it'll become better in the end. So I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.